come to dinner. I don't have time to make this a game. You don't have to gamify everything as a parent. But what you do have to do is take care of yourself enough so that you can get into your child's world. So if you're having that feeling like, I just, I can't do this because we have to eat dinner and it's on a schedule and I just can't make everything a game. Sweet pea, that's your dysregulation. It got nothing to do with your kid. So please leave the hot dinner on the table. Let it get cold. Go call your bestie. Go have a glass of water. Go lay down on the ground. Go do five jumping jacks. Go outside and walk around your house once. Go smell a lemon. And then take a big old deep breath and ask yourself, what does my child need to get to the table? They may need you to get within arm's distance so they can process your cue. If they're on a show, they probably need help transitioning off the show. If they're not really hungry, they may need help getting to the table. Your intervention may look like an arm around their shoulder. It may look like helping them turn off the TV. It may look like taking their hand or giving them a job, time to put forks on the table. But if you do want to gamify it, because it could be fun, I'm gonna get a stuffy and put it there on the floor. Another one, put it there. The floor is lava. Let's get to the table. You can only touch the stuffies. I go first. Ah, boom. It takes two seconds to make this shit fun. And it's gonna help you with your own dysregulation if you're also jumping from teddy bear to teddy bear. It's not that you need to gamify everything. It's that you need to get into your child's world and understand what they need, which may or may not be fun, in order to cooperate with your request.